Welcome back guys, I'm Sky, this is Foundation, and we are going to set up a farming village. Like, specifically, wheat farming. And I'm going to set it up over here. I've deliberately cleared out a whole load of trees over in this area. Basically, I've taken out all of this type of tree, the, the, the conifers, and uh, I've left these in, because I like these trees. Um, I'll probably take out these trees here, these these few, and these probably probably these around here as well. But I cleared out the trees that were here, and I think there were some there was, there was some around here. I, I don't know. Anyway, I've cleared them out, <laughs> but I want this in a particular way. I want to have a, a path going through here, and then have farms on like wheat wheat farms on either side, so that from over here. It's just like farms, just beautiful big golden fields over here. And then I'm thinking we put in kind of a a, a little village over here. What do you think of that? I think that could look really nice. But I'm also thinking of adding an extra gate to come into the city because we want we want flour produced. That's the whole point of this, to get to our bakers in the in the city. And if it's going to go all the way around, like either there or there, I don't know. I was going to say that seems like a long way, but when I, when I look at it like that, it kind of doesn't seem like that big a deal. I was thinking of putting a bridge across here and having another gateway and having uh, having some some windmills here. Hmm. Yeah, that's a nice... I, I might just... I might live with it. Well, I might live, just live with it. Okay, so what are we going to do? First thing, let's pause the game. I'm going to put in some forbidden land. <laughs> the forbidden land. Because I want to create this path and I don't want them I don't want them walking like across this area. So we'll put in a nice kind of swathe. It's a good word, isn't it? A nice swathe of forbidden land. Like that so that there's so that they have to walk around there and that will kind of give us the it gives us the line for our path. Something like that would be good. All right, cool. Uh, I'm going to turn on not the desirability like uh, zoning. There we go. Turn that off. Go away. Oh, go away. I don't know what. Okay, well, we'll leave it on. Uh, so, right. So now we've got to get some people to walk up and down here. So I'm thinking maybe we put the maybe we put the mills in. Uh, not the sawmill. You bonehead. Windmills. Windmills. So let's see, we've got these facing this way. I think these should probably be aligned the same or, or at least similar. These are obviously the reverse, which is not very realistic, but does look good. <laughs> that's, that's what's important. It's all about the looks. It's all about the looks. So let's see, that's about, I can probably steal a few degrees. So I'm thinking we want some windmills kind of in the center and then like a couple of farms, a couple of farms, some on the other side, that kind of thing. But how would we, how the hell would we align the the windmills? Is I guess the question. Because I'm thinking we're going to need this is a problem. You need too many windmills for the farms. It's like you need a windmill for every farm. So we've got, we've got two farms there, two windmills. Two farms there, two windmills. We've got three farms there, two windmills. We've got two farms there, two windmills. But if we look here, we've got excess wheat. That's because you need a, a windmill for every farm. And I think that's too many. I think you know a windmill could easily satisfy two and probably even three farms. I think windmills should be definitely beefed up. Anyway, anyway. So, so that means we need, I don't know, like three, probably like four, four windmills, which is, a, that's a lot of windmills going on. So if we were to put windmill, they're going to give me, that's good, like what, that's only going to be giving me like room for one. Two, three, four. Yeah, because I want a lot of farms. So that means I need like a lot of windmills. So let's have um, one, two, three, four, 
three, four windmills going on. You know what? Can't be a good go home, right? So five windmills. I think I'm going to have to adjust this a little bit. Not necessarily a bad thing. A more, a more wavy path could look good. Probably will look good. All right, so let's let's get them built. I think Let, let's get them built. And while that's building, I can start thinking about getting the farms built as well. Where's my builders? Come on, builders, get out here! What are they up to? They're slacking off. They'll be down. They'll be down the builders' arms pub. Here we go. Where are you off to? Oh, see, see, they they have their own minds. They're like, no, we're gonna have the path over here. If the path over is gonna be over there, then we'll adapt to that. So we want wheat farms. Where's wheat farms? Wheat farms. So we'll have a wheat farm going on. Um, like over here. So we'll have a wheat farm there. We'll have... So that, that can be for that area. Then we'll have another one... I don't know, kind of kind of somewhere over here. Which would be for that area. Then... Uh, we can probably we can probably maybe extend that one a little bit, which would be a good thing. And have this one maybe there for this area. And then... Probably say one... Maybe there. And then one up this end, for sure. Which will turn around that way. All right, cool. Let's get the Forbidden Land and take it back a bit now. Now that they've got that first path, they should develop paths kind of off that path. Oh, I love doing stuff like this. Kind of crafting an area from scratch. It's just, it's just going to depend how those windmills look. They may look really good. They may look rubbish. We will just have to see. Now, just putting that in. Like, so what's that? One, two, three, four, five farms, five mills. How many people is that? Three, five, 15 and 10. That's 25 people. Have I even got, to, I haven't even got 25 people. Yeah, I have. But um, I haven't got 25 people who could... Oh, I don't, um, yeah, no, I've only got like 20 people who don't have homes already. So I'm actually going to have to bring some people in. I wasn't expecting that. All right, let's turn turn immigration on. And that's just for them. If I want like, if I want to put a village over here with some markets and stuff, that's going to be even more people. Now, I could knock some houses down. But I certainly don't want to knock any houses down in here. And I think this is where pretty much all the un unemployed people are living. Around here, everybody's got jobs. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. So, yeah, this is going to be it's going to be kind of fun. Alrighty. So, oh, right, we've got our first windmill. Let's turn... You know what? Can, can we get rid of this? For, I think we can get rid of this Forbidden Zone now. We've got... once As soon as we've got the path, which we've developed now... I think we can get rid of that, which would be a good thing, because I don't, don't really like it very much. So let's get rid of all of that. Hooray, that's much rejoicing. And we'll get rid of... Uh, what am I going to get rid of? I'm going to get rid of the... Always on. There we go. All right, cool. So I've got farm. Row of windmills. Does that look good? You know, I think once, we, once we've got the farmland in... I think that might look kind of cool, especially when the, once the windmills start turning. 
Oh, I like it. I like it. I think I like it. Um, let's get rid of that. I'll probably want to bring in about, I don't know, I don't know, like 20 people or something. Right, houses. This is the thing. Now, I don't want, like, millions of buildings in here. So, I'm going to put the houses more up kind of this end. And they can they can walk to work. And then when they come back to their houses and they'll go to the market or whatever. Are these going to be particularly efficient? No, they're not going to be particularly efficient. Do I care? No, because that's not the point. The point is the looks. Everything's got to be a balance. You know, balance between looks and efficiency. So let's have some houses along here. Kind of a kind of a row of cottages would be kind of nice along that road. So we've got one, two. I'll probably put a third one in eventually. And then we're gonna want similar kind of thing over here. But like that's gonna put in there you go, three. So that's three houses. That's only six people. We need, what did I say, like 25 people? That's <laughs> a lot of freaking houses. So, so yeah, we're going to need a row of cottages along here. Along the edge of the path. Come on, come on, give me... Yeah, three. Give me another one there. Would be great. And then we want some on the other side of the road as well. Would be awesome source. Probably a little bit of cool beans in there as well. I suppose we can have cottages coming up to about here, really. Which kind of works with the, fo with the, you know, the forest behind them. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Ten would be twenty people. No, twenty-two. Alright, we've almost got enough. Almost got enough. Sweet, awesome sauce. Uh let's put in yeah, you know what? Yeah. Once they get built. I'll put in a, a few flowers to make them happy. Do, 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 do. What do I want? I want decorative bush. So we'll put in, put in a few flowers around the place. There we go. Uh, do you want some flowers underneath your window? Yeah, go on. Have some flowers underneath your window. Yeah, we'll do, do something for these guys up here. A little flower garden on the corner. There you go. Ah, uh, this could be quite cool. <laughs> this could be quite cool. So let's do uh, let's do the fields. So what are we going to want with the old with the old fields? Now I said we could probably extend this one a little bit, didn't I? Yeah, I did. So let's extend that out a little bit like that. And this one. Um, Probably something like that. Ooh, maybe, maybe not quite that far. Maybe something like that. And this guy can have his fields. Just trim that back. I don't want it too close to the water. Something, something like that. Something like that. And then this guy, he can have his field coming down here and then extending out to here, if he can use that much. Which, I don't know, probably he can. Probably he can. Something like that. What I'll do, I'll join those together 
and then I'll separate them. Now, do I do I need to separate them? I don't need to separate them, but I just think it's kind of nice having like areas between the fields. And then I'll have fences and whatever, so it looks like little paths, little lanes running through the fields. Oh, yeah, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. So let's see. How are we doing on houses? We have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twenty-two people. That's almost enough houses for all of these guys. We need like two more. I say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, we need two more. Where are we going to get two more houses? Now I could put a couple of houses in kind of behind these two. Probably wouldn't be the worst idea I've ever had. Yeah, go on. Let's have another couple of houses in there. Assuming that we've got enough people to put those houses in. Um, there's like there's almost room. I, if I extend that, they might squeeze another house in there. Or like, if I do it like that, they might put it in kind of diagonal or something. There you go. Try try to squeeze a house in there as well. And to help them along, we can put in a few flowers again. Up, oh, see, they built on there. Good, good job. Well done. Get um, flowers underneath your window. And we'll do the same thing over here. Alrighty. So what's that? That's 12. 12 houses, 24 people. We only actually need like one more house. Which I kind of like to be there, but. Um, I haven't done the fields on the other side, have I? I haven't done the fields on the other side. Hoo hoo hoo. Alright, so you. Let's make this a little bit smaller. So, we're going to want something like that for you. And then. Oh, we've got some nice shapes on these fields. This should actually look pretty good. I like this. Yeah, should we start getting some people to work? I think we probably should. So I'm gonna use, um, I wish they'd build me like one more house. So they're building that one there. Where do I want the next one built? Let's see. I mean, to be honest, I don't really mind that much. I mean, there or there. Or I could extend it, you know, actually, let's do that. I think it would be better having, would it? I better have a house there rather than there or there. I'm not. I gotta say, I'm not like totally enamoured with that one. I might, I might change that actually. I don't, I don't really like that house there. I wouldn't mind having a house there. You know, it's a bit far. It's a little bit far away. I, I think another house up here. Yeah, let's let's do another house. There. Oh, they've built me one there. It's very nice of them. All right, so in that case, we whoops, we don't need that. They've built me my. That was my thirteenth house, wasn't it? I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ah, no, that's thirteen. But I want to get rid of that one. So, no, I do need another one, which is, yeah, I, which we're going to put here. And this one will knock down. Go away. And we'll see if one will build over here. There might not be enough room. I mean, I would, I would have thought there was enough room, but there might not be quite enough room to get one in. I guess we will see. We'll give them as much room as we can. And we'll see if, see if we can get a house in there. Doesn't look like it at the moment. I, you know, I'd even let them build up to there. Eh, 
Any chance of a house? Please? Come on, I knocked that one down. They should build this. If they can build, they should build it basically instantly. But they don't seem to want to. Ah, oh, there it is. That'll do. All right, so let's chop this. Just because I don't want any other houses building here at the moment. Go away. So we'll just chop that back. There we go. All righty. So now I've got my 13 houses. So I've got my houses for all my people. Awesome. We're going to have, let's see. Now these guys, oh, let's pause for a second. Am I going to stop people coming in? Um, I am for just a little bit because I want to get all of these people sorted out. So what do we need to do? We need villagers list. We need to sort them by job. Now it just depends how fussy I want to be about like where they are and what they're doing and stuff. So, and I think I'm going to be a little bit fussy. So I'm going to get all of these people assigned as builders. And then we're going to assign them to exactly where I want them to work. Now, nah, like, does it really make that much difference? Nah, not really. But I've kind of got used to doing it this way. And I just like the, the surety of knowing that I've, I've picked exactly where people are going to live. And that it's going to be, like, at least kind of relatively efficient. So, which, um, which house are we going to do? This, we'll start with this one. So... We unassign them as builders, go to a building, and then boom, boom, and that's the two people who are working in that building. Sweet. So I think we'll assign the Millers first. So that's that's Miller. This is going to be Miller. So unassign them as builders, and then assign, assign, cha-ching. All right, just about to assign the last two farms just to unassign these guys, so one, two, three, one, two, three, and it should be those six people living in these three houses, working in these two farms. Beautiful. So, let's close all those windows down. And, let's see, how is it starting to look? Oh, <laughs> come on guys, get out there, get planting. This is going to look so good when it's all all planted up on both sides. Oh, they're starting. They're getting it planted. Somebody left me um, a, a comment, um, basically talking about this and saying, "Sky, you'd like have your have your villages separated by farmland to to kind of." like create that which is what i was trying to do over here and like to a degree i have done it this village over here and this village over here are separated by these wheat fields but after and, and i replied to the comments that yeah I, that's what i was kind of doing and then i when i came in today to to play and i was like what am i going to do and i was like yeah i wonder if i could do something that's kind of more you know just emphasize that a bit more but when I, when I originally thought about it, I literally just wanted the farm buildings and nothing more. But you've got to put the mills in. And the thing is, the mills do kind of need to be out in open countryside. You can't have the mills. I, I don't think it's reasonable having the mills like in the city or something. Okay, I could have, I could have maybe taken out a couple of those mills and had them maybe down here or something. Which, I don't know. If I, if I decide I don't like this, I could maybe take out the two mills there and there and maybe have a couple of mills down here or something. But, I'll, you know, I'll see your comments because you might you guys might say, no, 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 it looks really good. Having that line of windmills looks really nice. So, or you might turn around and say, looks bloody and awful, Sky. What on earth were you thinking? You smoking crack again? To which I would reply, I don't even remember doing it the first time. <laughs> but then that's probably one of the effects of crack. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. All right, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm liking that. I'm liking the whole farmland thing. Cool. So now what we need to do is get, um, get a bit of a village going on here. 
What I am hoping is that having added this extra farming in, that's a quite a lot of farming. Look, oh, we're up to 97% happiness. That um, that should start to feed through. But of course, if we start to get like excess flour, which I'm kind of hoping we will. Let's have a look at our, uh, our resources. So how are we doing with the flour? Oh yeah, look, well, there you go. Well, there you go. We are starting to crank out the flour in. We've got excess flour. That means we need more bakers to use it up. So, where the hell can I put in some more bakers? So, I'm, lo I'm looking at this and thinking, so I've got a nice straight road along there. Wonder. I, I'd almost like to move those two houses over here and have a couple of, a couple of more bakers, like close to the market. Or even, even over here, have a, could I fit a couple of bakers in there? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Yeah, what do I want? Bakery. Could have a couple of bakers there. I want this. I want this stuff like close to the market. Um, the. I mean, the, the really is not room to get one in there. Uh, and that's going to have more market stalls around there, and, and that's going to have market stalls there. But like a couple of bakers there could work. I, I think that's probably my favourite idea at the moment. I can't really see anywhere else that's close to the market that would work. So yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. I think that's what we're going to do. If I get rid of those, I could probably now. Oh, oh, now that's a point. I need to put that thing back in that I had down here, don't I? Yeah, 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 with the tax office and... Actually, I did put it back in, but they haven't built it. Oh, is that... It's probably... Ah, because it's, it's cordoned off. Let's... Let's undo that. Let them build that. We've got one house there. You know what? Let's... Let's remove that. Let's get one more house put in. there see if we can get see if we can get a house to go in there now to get that house to go in I'm gonna have to come over here let's knock uh, now oh, hang on what are you uh, now this oh your builder your builder see this is the nice thing about doing it like this builder builder so these people are not allocated to work in in buildings that are close by so it's safe for me to just get rid of those and then they can go and live freaking anywhere frankly and then I can get my two new bakeries going in. So let's see. I want this to kind of look good from here. So. Now I could, you know what? Let's mix it up a little bit. Let's mix it up a little bit. Let's have one going in like that. The one closest to the market. And we'll put the other one the other way around. Like that kind of thing oh I like that idea go go build me that I want to see it all right sweet uh, any sign of this house getting built not at the moment I'll give him a shade more room there we go that'll do Good alignment. That works. I would have kind of liked it to be shuffled up. Now, one thing that you can do, you can like shuffle these along. If I just trim this back a little bit to say there, and then demolish that, and let's see if they will rebuild it. Yes, thank you. They've just moved it over a bit. So it's closer to that one gives me a bit more room on this side I, I like in, in the town I want the houses to feel kind of close together and 
I want it almost a claustrophobic feel. All right, um, having done that, what else do I want to do? I want to put in um, another sawmill, because like I, like I said in the last episode, we need to produce like a lot of planks for when I do the big upgrade. So that's something I've got to work on. What am I doing? Sawmill. Uh, let's pause while I put this in, because... How am I going to put this in? I want another sawmill over here. In fact, I might even put a couple of sawmills over here. Like, what the hell? I'm going to put a couple of sawmills in. And then I'm going to add a warehouse. I want another warehouse in here. Now, if I put it... If I arrange it that way and put them kind of close together like that let's let that let's let that get built and see what that looks like now i'm not quite sure what i'm going to do down here but i do want another row of houses down here so how am i going to get a row of houses in down there well gonna have to do so Ooh, yeah. i've got to knock all these trees down um, I tell you what I could do, like for now, is just put in a woodcutter and get them all cut down. It's either that or knock them down with fences, but I kind of don't want to do that. Um, that needs to be removed, actually. That's a good point. Don't want that house there. All right. Now, uh, let's, c let's come over here for a second. Now, I don't necessarily want this well here because I want people going into the into the center and getting all their needs filled in like at one time. So they come up here, they go to the well, get something to eat, and then go to one of the one of the churches. So I was thinking of maybe doing something down on this corner. A lot of you were pretty keen on me using bits of the monastery and other buildings down for some of the walls. So I was thinking about the herb garden. I was like, this looks freaking awesome on the corner. Um, I was going to put it. I was going to put it that way, wasn't I? Yeah. Like just inside the walls with the tower sticking out. All right, so let's get rid of um, of this well. Go away. Good, all those people. All look, and they're all builders, and that they go to the well to satisfy their needs, and then they've got nothing to do until they need to go home to satisfy that need. So that's why you end up with loads of them standing there, not doing anything. Let's get this. Um, let's get this built. So what do we want? We want monastery. I'm going to do this kind of bit at a time, and see kind of how how it looks. So we're going to want this kind of like yeah, kind of like that. Yeah, I like that. I like that. And then I'm thinking a tower as well. Something like that. Now, I don't want much more than that, to be honest. Um, I'm probably going to turn it around that way. And then just kind of have it like that. That's really nice. That's really nice. This mo I've got to say this monastery, best of the best building they've come up with so far. It's awesome. Um, that's a cloister center, isn't it? It's a problem with this. You, you just get carried away with it because it's so damn good. You just want to put more and more bits in. The 
does that need? I, I think this tower needs to come over a fraction so that there isn't a, a gap between those two walls. Yeah, that's better. And then move that over again. Yeah, like that's pretty much all I want. Um, we need a door. A door or two. Uh, where do I want my door? I think, let's have a nice door. Oh, I can't. Why won't you stick to there? Doesn't want to stick to there. We'll stick to there. Why won't it stick to there? Let's try another door. That's door A. Door B, which looks exactly the same to me. No, won't stick onto there. Why not? You stick onto the other side. No, doors won't stick onto the tower for some reason. Will you stick onto the end there? No. Okay, doors apparently are fussy about where they'll go. Now, I could just like put it there and just kind of force it. I don't know what, yeah, I kind of prefer it on that side to this side. Uh, ooh, fireplace. See, why won't this stick? So I think that, I think that would be quite nice to, to, to have that closed off. Let's see if I can line it up. Probably. Something like, yeah, something like that. I like that. Yeah, just a just a little feature on this corner. Extension C. Oh God, there's so many cool bits. I'm gonna have such fun. That's such fun. Oh man. This is seriously, you can go completely crazy. I was going to say ape because of the apiary. <laughs> the dorms. Close to corner. Oh man. All right, I think we'll. Uh, I think we'll leave it at that. I think we'll leave it at that for now. So we'll start construction on that. Cha Ching. Off you go. And then we're going to come around to what the hell was I doing? So that house has got built. Nice. That's got built now. Awesome. I can add the extra bit on, which was the tax office that I wanted to put on. I wanted the tax office to go in there. And it doesn't interfere with that house. So that's kind of cool. Um, do I want it set back there? Or do I want, yeah, it needs to be set back there, doesn't it? Oh, that's brilliant that he's got his he's got his desk just there, so he can take the taxes of the people coming in and out of the city. Beautiful. Start construction. Awesome. That's getting built. What else was I doing? Um. All of that's rocking and rolling. I was doing. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Got the two sawmills down there. Now, let's see. I assigned the people in these two buildings. So, uh, let's see. Are you, what are you? You're a stone cutter and a fisherman. Transporter, transporter. We need four carpenters. I'm gonna need some more houses. <laughs> God. Um, let's see, what are, you, what are you? You're, okay, so that's, the two carpenters who are working there. Though these will be the two transporters. Yeah, so what are the people doing in here? Oh, build a builder. And these are build a builder. Perfect. That's gonna be our four carpenters. So we unassign them from being builders. And ching. Uh, let's do it from this one first. Assign, assign, and assign, assign. Have we got the right people? Yes, 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 yes. 
Why am I? That's better. <laughs> Somebody actually left a comment about you've, you've asked them to put in that feature to close the windows. They put it in and then you don't use it. And it's like, yeah, you know what? After playing so many hours, you, it just becomes force of habit. But I'll, I'll do my best. Oh, that is so sweet. Alrighty. So now we've got these guys who are going to be working away carpentering. So what I want to do here is I want to assign this the same way I've got this set up. So I want uh, logs and logs and we'll have uh, where's planks? Planks is up here somewhere. Uh, planks and planks. Now I've noticed with this one this warehouse over here that there's no logs and I wonder if, it, if this is the same issue as the berries because there's no reason why that we've got like loads and loads of logs there's no reason we shouldn't have logs in here so I'm just going to try like reassigning them Let's reassign them to berries and then change them back to wood and we'll see if any wood gets loaded up over here I've set that up we need a couple of villages I've just got to find some villagers you're a blacksmith blacksmith you're oh build a builder perfect builder and Builder, cha ching, cha ching, hooray! And there was huge amounts of rejoicing about that. All right, cool. Oh, have we got my bakers done over here? Yes, we've got my bakers done over here. That's nice. Um, I'm thinking probably the people who live in these two houses. So let's have you and you. Uh, no, not woodcutter. You and you can go and work there. Bum, bum. And you and you can go and work there. Awesome, freaking source. I say I'm doing it again, and it's it's literally just force of habit. It is just force of habit. Uh, let's see. What are these people doing? You are tight. Tailor and a market tender. Your couple of transporters working there. Might switch them out because I'm going to need a bunch of market tenders working here. I suppose I can maybe cram a couple extra houses in here. Um, let's say your, your market tenders. Oh, we've got a couple of spare people there. A couple of spare people there. That's four. I'm doing, it, so I'm doing it again. And uh, what about you two? Market tender Taylor. Uh, transporter, transporter. Yeah, we're going to need, I would think, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We probably need about eight people working as market tenders here. Eight more people. So, yeah, I'm going to need, I think, a few more houses. Um, unless I don't know, let's see. Oh, we got we got we got these over here that are free. Uh, you're occupied. You're occupied. Oh, we got we got some free people here. Yeah, build a builder. Build a builder. Oh, th we've got six people in there. Ah, no, that's fine. I am going to need uh, some more market stalls in here though, because the the market is going to be. Uh, two rows of stalls there, two rows of stalls there, and then a full row, and then it's going to curve around there. It's a pretty little marketplace, don't you think? Can't wait to get all the markets and stuff in. I have to do that very soon. Alrighty, so we've got our farms going. Let's see, has it turned things around? That's the question. Well, bread's up at like the 350 level. We have got like 400 flour. The the one more thing that I'm going to need to do. And like where am I going to do this? I'm going to do this over here, I guess. Um, oh, that's a good point. I need to unforbid this area now. Is these people need 
These bakers need flour, and we don't want the bakers going out to get it, so we need to bring flour in. Now, there are a couple of places that they can actually get flour, not there. Oh, actually, I've got a couple of slots free. So we've got bread and flour in there. Um, I could add bread and flour to this. Uh, let's do it, flour and bread. Flour and bread. All right, cool. So I was going to put another warehouse in there, and I may put another warehouse in there, but we'll... Um, we've got... We've got two slots for bringing flour in. So they brought just brought a little bit of flour in. So we'll see. We'll see how that works. We'll see how that works. Oh, we're coming up on four hundred on the flour. All right, looking good. How on the planks? We're up to five hundred on the planks. How are you guys doing? Uh, you're not doing a whole hell of a lot at the moment. How are we doing over here? Okay, so we've got logs in here. But look, zero, zero. Yeah, I seriously, I think this is bugged out. I mean, it must be because like, like this is 50, 50, 50 there. And you can see that they've, they've, they've been obviously taking a few logs out of his, this one. But this one, zero, zero. And this has been stuck at like 20 and 30 for like as long as I can remember. I may have to knock this down and rebuild it or something to try and unbug it or something because that is definitely a problem alrighty guys well I think I'm probably going to leave this uh, running a little bit more I might put in the village do you want to see me put in the village over here or do you want me to just put the village and get to upgrading this I'm kind of open to, to offers so yeah leave me a comment let me know what you want um, want me to do village or city I, I think yeah, village or city, and uh, and we'll we'll come back to it. All right. <laughs> Sorry, I, my mind is running. I'm looking at things and thinking, oh, I want to do that there, and I want to do this over there, and yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I will try and keep these episodes coming out a little bit more frequently, and I'll catch you for the next one. Peace out. <laughs>